Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 459, count number of trapezoids, one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, let me know what you think about this one. Uh, first thing first, don't forget about the mod, way easy to, I forget all the time. But the key part about this one that makes it uh, tractable and easy enough to sell is that one pick, um, uh, yeah is that two of the sides has to be um, parallel, parallel axis, axis parallel to the x-axis, right? And so uh, the way to think about this one, and I'm going to bring up the drawing board, so bear with me for a second, is just to, you know, uh, count the number of sides that can happen from the top and bottom. And then everything else just kind of flows from that, right? And what I mean by that is that um what i mean by that is that okay for for the purpose of this problem we don't have to draw out all the dots but um but let's say you know we have this graph uh pretend they're straight lines and pretend these all uh, okay let me draw them a little bit better though pretend these are all lines on the same thing on the same line right and uh, these are all on the same line. These are all on the same line. And then all you really need is that, uh, well, count the number of ways that, um, so, you know, these are all on the same line. That means that here, given these two y-axes, um, th there's four points, right? And then now we want to choose two of them. So then this is just four, choose two. Here, there's three, choose two, right? And then now, um, so yeah, if you do it this way, that that's basically uh, the way to kind of figure it out. Right, you have four choose two, which is you go to six. Three choose two, which is you go to three. I think maybe my math is wrong. So then this is you go to eighteen ways, right? Um, and then if you just add more points, it's the same idea, right? Um, so if you have do 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 do. Let's say there are five lines, here, uh, five points here. Then now you have. Okay, I don't know why the colors didn't change that time. Uh, now you have five choose two, which is you go to 10, right? So then now, the, the, the only tricky thing is that um, you can't do this like, you can try to do these keys, like let's say they're K keys, you could do a K square, you know, by taking every pair of them, but that's going to time out um, because you can imagine, um, yeah, this is a lot of points and there are, you know, this is K square uh, and K could be, you go to N roughly speaking, maybe N over two. Uh, or something like that but that would make you your life miserable right k square would time out so the idea here is just noticing that okay well let's say we have this line or this we have this line which consists of these five points well then all you have to do is just figure out how many uh we know that we can make 10 pairs right how many other pairs can we make it with and that is actually the summation of all the other pairs that we just count. So the idea here is just to make two loops, um, two passes more accurately, right? Because here, instead of going, okay, let's combine, like, what I mean is that you can may initially think, okay, well, for for this pair or for this this line, match first with this and then this, and then the second one, you do this, and then we match with here and here, uh, and then lastly here, do, 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 do right? one uh you know that's a lot of work right because now you're n square and we do nine arrows and that's what n square looks like right but instead um we can just sum up all the rest right and what i mean by that is that okay say this is 10 then you know that um well sum up everything first then now we know that there are 19 total pair pairs right uh and that's just just to be clear six times uh, or 10 times 6 times, uh, 10 plus 6 plus 3, which is just the sum of these three things, right? Um, and then now when you add this pair, then you just go, well, it's 10 for this inside this pair times uh, 9, right? Um, yeah, because for these 10 pairs, each of them, there are 9 other pairs that does not belong on this line. And the does not belong in this line is critical because otherwise then you have a 0... Um, area trapezoid, which is kind of a degenerate trapezoid, which may be valid for some other problems, but for this one, it is not. And that's basically the idea, right? So then now you have 10 times 9, which is 90. 
uh, and then do the same for here, right? And here you have three, so it's three times uh, 19 minus three, which is 16, uh, times three, which is 48, right? And then so forth. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, and then once you do it for every pair, um, it is fine. And we'll go over the code, right? Uh, I know that I, when I, people, you know, tell me to draw more. Well, this is what you get. My, I, my drawing is chaos. Um, but in any case, this is my code and it's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, or short anyway, I don't know if it's straightforward. But basically, I keep track. Uh, and this is just the height, right? You could say it's the y-intercept, but it is a horizontal line. So we just, you know, uh, we just map it to the horizontal point, right? So that everything on the same y, uh, horizon will have will be matched together. Um, I put emphasis on it because if you're coming from Q4, and I imagine, because Q4 is a more difficult version of this problem, and I'm sure over there I'll be like, uh, I'm sure there I'm, I'm asking you to watch this video to, to really understand it and you should because Q4 is hard without understanding Q2. But yeah, so then here you can say that it's just all the horizontal lines and yeah, and then I kind of keep track of stuff like here, but maybe you could write it in a cleaner way in any case. Um, but it is that, uh, yeah, so given that why we, we, you know, Let's, let me denote, uh, add comments. Z is the number of ways to choose two points to form a line uh, with this horizontal uh, points. These horizontal points, right? And then we just keep track um, so that we could save it for use later. And then T is just the total, right? And the total is, um, the only use is that we can later go, okay, well, uh, we have we for, for the horizontal line y we have duh, 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 c sub y um, points to form a line uh, a side rather right and then t minus c sub y is all the other um, places to form a side right and that's it. And you just multiply them together. Um, and the reason why you have to uh, divide it by two is because you just overcap, right? Because it's almost it like if if um, it's like the way that you could think about it in terms of overcounting is that if you have to like do 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 for j in range of n, uh, then if i is like j, then like you know this is going to overcount because we want i and like the the order quote unquote the order doesn't matter, so they're the same trapezoid in this matter, right? Like you know, like you do it, you count once where one of the side is the top and then you count another times where the other side is on the bottom. That's kind of the other idea. And then you just kind of divide it by two to uh, make sure that handles. Uh, there is the mod, so don't forget. Um, but I, hmm, I don't know if these overfloats uh, in other languages. In Python, I don't really worry about it because um, this is at most um, n square, right? Uh, over two even and n is 10 to the fifth so this is like at most 10 to the ninth let's just say 10 to the 10 right and then uh, as a result this is at most like uh, 10 to the 20 so it's I guess it can overflow but not by that much so uh, at least on Python is fine you might have to be a little bit smarter about it um, yeah in other languages for sure and and the smarter thing is just well you have to mod this and you have to mod this and i think that's fine you multiply them uh actually is that true hmm. i mean it is kind of true but the divided by two thing can be tricky in other languages i don't know if that's let me know in the comments whether that's an issue in other languages um i mean it's not that hard to get an inverse mod of two but it's still like a modular inverse but it's still not quite you know, it makes the problem a little bit more complicated and c confusing, right? But for me, um, in Python, I don't have to worry about it, as you can see, and I don't. So, yeah, let me know in comments how you think. But that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for, oh, yeah, let me go over the complexity. Complexity, this is linear. Uh, I also, uh, this is linear because, you know, uh, yeah. And I, I guess just since this is unique, I always do this so that I don't have to worry about it with length. Um, but since this is unique, you can actually uh, 
convert this to this. Uh, it's just f the reason why is that it's also easier to debug because I could actually print out the points later. But you know, you can actually do, 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 do right? Uh, and and then that's it, really. Um, well, I mean, you need. Oh, there. Hopefully that's right. Yep. Uh, yeah, but this is linear because, well, the number of keys can only be as big as linear, and this is also linear. So it's linear times three, which is linear, right? And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, you can watch me solve a live in the contest next. Okay, <laughs> not gonna lie. I feel like I made so many silly mistakes lately that I wouldn't have been surprised if I got something wrong. Uh, on a silliness, so yeah, that shows how bad I've been. Ah, anyway, count the number of trapezoids. Okay, do, 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 do. horizontal, so at least of one do, pair of horizontal. Okay, lines are parallel, they have at the same slope. Number unique that we form by choosing any distinct number of points. Huh, and that's a mod thing, so let's do mod, 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 mod. Um, did I see this? Uh, hmm. I don't know why they. Uh, this is such a weird way to implement the problem list because you don't even see the full problem name. But anyway, so one and four are the same. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Maybe they're different problems. But let's see. Uh, what I was going to say is that maybe the n is small enough that we can play around with it. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what this problem is. What is this one? Why is this one? Maybe I misunderstood this one. Oh, 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 I did misread this one. Uh, ho horizontal sides. Oh, 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 given th these points. Okay, I see. So then basically they have... Is it trapezoid? So it's just... Oh, okay. No, this is not that bad. I, I think I just misunderstood what they want me to do. Um, okay, so then now we just... Um, what's it? The horizontal is x, so that means that if horizontal means parallel to the x, so y is the same, right? Okay. I usually draw my x, y differently, uh, um, but maybe not. I don't know. This should be okay. Okay, fine. Uh, for x, y in points, um, um, so then f of y dot append x, right? And that's really all you need. Um, and then maybe do something about keys. Um, hmm. How would I think about it? Uh, I mean, this is most of it, but you can still cannot do n square, or well, you can't even do it just based on keys, right? So it has to be the number of keys that have at least two things, and then it's just choose two. I see. So then it is like a almost like a prefix sum. Okay, fine. And then now maybe you can have like um, I see, I see. Okay, so then maybe a count is do, 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 right. So then for k and well maybe just y. So then now we have um, choose two right. So c of y is equal to um, f of y choose two. Let me just write it like this. Um, and then maybe a t is equal to zero, and then just, yeah, okay. Right. Then you do it again, and then it is just the, no, the um, yeah, and then total is equal to zero. I'm not even going to bother modding it, but. I don't think it matters. Yeah, because then it's just f of y times t minus f of y, right? Um, this cannot be in terms oh length. Oh, and this has to be if length of. I said that, but then I didn't actually write it out. Hmm. Uh, Mm, I guess this is C. Actually, yeah, I just C. I, I used the wrong function. Okay, 
If this is C, then it should be fine. Uh, we have three and one, but I have six and two. Is it just that I double count? I do double count because I go backwards. Okay, I think that's easy to do. Hmm. Oh, I don't mod, so that's fine. I was going to say, under mod, that may be a little bit tricky, but because I don't mod until the end, it ends up being okay. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Let's JOLO submit. If I don't make a silly mistake. Okay, good. Way easy to make a silly mistake on this one, I feel like. I I don't know. Everything feels easy to make a silly mistake, to be honest. But, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.